Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I want to talk about green screens and chroma key and how easy it is to replace a green screen in Final Cut Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoy these tutorials and find them helpful, please let me know in the comments or by hitting the like button. That being said, let's open up Final Cut Pro and take a look at our clips. We'll start off with a simple one, with a nice, evenly lit background. This clip was downloaded from the free stock footage YouTube channel, linked in the description. First thing, let's select our background clip and drop it into our timeline. Next, let's set the playhead at the start of the clip, select the green screen clip, and press Q to connect it above our timeline. Now, open the effects browser, select the key in category, and drag and drop the keyer effect over your green screen clip. Final Cut Pro will analyze your clip and automatically select the best range of green pixels from which to create the key. So if you have a nice, evenly lit background without much light spill onto your subject, this is all you need to do. Let's try another clip, but this one will be a little bit harder to key. If I skim over this clip, you can see some wrinkles and shadows on the green screen, and this time, the lighting isn't the greatest. Let's apply the keyer to our clip and see what that looks like. Right away you can see the key isn't perfect. There's a little bit of light spill onto the subject's hat at certain angles, making it transparent. And when the camera moves, you can see part of the set in the image. Let's see if we can fix that with a few basic adjustments. Over in the inspector, let's select matte view to better understand what's going on. In matte view, the white pixels are where no background shows through at all. Black pixels are transparent, where the background completely shows through, and gray pixels are semi-transparent. To achieve a good key, we want the subject in white, background in black, and the edges in gray to create a nice smooth transition. In our example, you can see way too much gray in the subject's hat, and that's why it appears transparent. An easy way to fix this is by using the fill hole slider. Click and drag it up just until the subject's hat turns completely white. You don't want to go too far because you'll introduce white edges around the subject. Let's go back to our composite view and see how that looks. With Final Cut Pro's automatic keying and one simple adjustment, quite a bit can be accomplished. Final Cut Pro includes quite a few more keying adjustment parameters which can be used to key much harder clips and can also be used to fix filming mistakes such as this part of the set showing through but those advanced keying controls are going to get their own video. A simple way to fix this part of the set shown through in our image is to apply and keyframe a mask to our clip. Let's set the playhead just before the camera move, zoom out on our clip, and apply a draw mask from the effects browser. Set four control points just off screen, select invert mask checkbox, and add a keyframe to the control points. Now let's advance through our clip one frame at a time and adjust the mask to hide the filming mistake, making sure not to cut off any parts of our subject. Now let's resize our clip to fit the screen again and take a look. Quite a bit can be accomplished with Final Cut Pro's automatic chroma keyer and a couple basic adjustments. A lot more can be accomplished with Final Cut Pro's advanced keying controls, but like I mentioned before, that's going to get its own video in the future. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. As always, likes and shares are always appreciated and leave any feedback or questions you may have in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for another Final Cut Pro tutorial.